Are you considering buying a new home in the Texas Hill Country? Well, now might be the perfect time with more listings, better prices, and unforgettable remote working options in charming towns like Fredericksburg and Kerrville, Texas. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Ryan Rendon, Rendon Realty Group, your favorite realtor right here in the Texas Hill Country. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you do so, but also hit that little bell so you can get notified anytime I put out videos just like this one. So today we are hopping into the hot topics with the real estate market here in the Texas Hill Country. If you're thinking about buying or selling or just curious about the real estate market, this video is for you. So grab a drink, sit back, and let's get this video started. Okay, so first off, let's talk about the shift in the market. So the last few years, we have seen an insane seller's market, but things are definitely starting to balance out. Inventory is definitely on the rise and homes are sitting on the market much, much longer, which means more negotiating power for you as a buyer. This market shift is giving buyers the chance to find their dream home without being in some crazy bidding war situation. Now, let's go ahead and touch on these interest rates. So they've been climbing since the start of the year and while they're still below the peak of 2023, they are impacting borrowing cost. And of course, this means that you as a buyer may have to adjust your budget, but don't worry, it's not all bad news. With quite a few more homes on the market and with more negotiating power for you as a buyer, you can still find some great deals. And to give you a quick example of this, I've had buyers within the last three to four months that were able to get their properties for at least 10 to 15% below the list price. And in other cases, we've actually been able to ask the sellers to cover up to 3% of the closing costs, but also to buy down their rates. In seller's markets like we had before, good luck asking for anything like that. If you weren't overpaying for the property and had zero contingencies, you weren't buying a home. But now let's go ahead and take a moment to zoom in on some specific areas. In cities like Austin, we've seen a pretty significant jump in active listings on the market, which has helped balance things out by quite a bit. Homes here in Austin have been appreciating like crazy over this past decade, making it a solid long-term investment spot. However, the prices have started to stabilize, which is a great thing for you as buyers because you're not having to buy at the peak peak prices. Meanwhile, in San Antonio, the market continues to stay resilient. There's been a slight dip in home prices, but with 40% increase in active listings, buyers have plenty of options to choose from. Prices have slightly decreased, making it a pretty good time for you as a buyer to jump into this market if you have been eyeing this vibrant city. And of course, I don't personally serve San Antonio. I focus on the Central Texas Hill Country area, but I do have a great colleague in San Antonio. His name is Trace Rana with the Calvary Group. So if you do need a great agent, all his contact information is above. I definitely suggest you reach out to him. Now, let's go ahead and talk about Fredericksburg and Kerrville, Texas, two gyms that are in the heart of the Texas Hill Country. Fredericksburg, of course, is known for its German heritage and its vibrant wine scene. The real estate market here is pretty darn unique with a mix of, of course, historic homes, modern builds, and plenty of land. And then the median home price in Fredericksburg is right around 495,000 as of the second quarter of this year with a whopping 12 and a half months of inventory on the market. Needless to say, with that amount of inventory, that is giving buyers a whole lot of opportunities to get pretty good deals. Now, Kerba on the hand offers a more laid back atmosphere with beautiful views of the Guadalupe River. Now, the median home price here in Kerrville is quite a bit lower than Fredericksburg sitting at 318,000 and only six months of inventory on the market making it an attractive options for those seeking affordability without sacrificing that hill country charm and with a similar story but of course not near the amount of inventory there is opportunities in the curve market to get pretty good deals but like i said 12 and a half months to comparison to six months is completely different so one of the reasons the texas hill country remains a hot spot is the local economy Job growth is pretty solid and people are moving here for the low cost of living, but also the great quality of life. This ongoing demand helps keep the housing market steady even when interest rates go up. Now areas like Austin and San Antonio continue to attract new residents due to the robust job market, but also the lower cost of living in comparison to other areas like California. The tech industry in Austin is absolutely booming and San Antonio's diverse economy is growing steadily. 
This influx of new residents ensures that the housing demand remains strong. And then on top of that, Texas has a favorable business environment because we do not have any state income tax, which attracts companies and workers from higher tax states. This migration fuels the demand for housing, particularly in attractive regions like the Texas Hill Country and the state's strong educational institution and quality healthcare systems further support this trend as well. Now, the Texas economy is also bolstered by industries such as healthcare, finance, and energy. This tourism supports local businesses and keeps the economy vibrant, making it an appealing place for people to move and invest in. Now, again, let's talk about Kerrville and Fredericksburg specifically. With the growth of the tech industry in both San Antonio and Austin, and many of those jobs offering remote work opportunities, both Fredericksburg and Kerrville have become great small town options. You can enjoy the charm and tranquility of these two towns without dealing with the insane traffic and population growth that larger cities like San Antonio and Austin are experiencing. This makes Fredericksburg and Kerrville attractive for those who are looking for a quieter lifestyle while still having access to great job opportunities. And then speaking of affordability, while these higher interest rates do make things tougher, there's no doubt about it, the recent moderation in home price growth does help buyers out quite a bit. You might actually find homes in your budget with less buyer competition driving up those prices. So if you have been priced out of the market in the past, now may be a good opportunity to jump back in the game and find your new dream home. Now, I do have to mention some very important environmental factors to consider. The Hill Country is known for its natural beauty, but it also comes with its risk of flooding and occasionally wildflowers. So you wanna make sure to do your homework and understand the potential hazards when you're looking for a new property. It is crucial to factor these in to your buying decisions. So for a quick example, about 7% of the properties in the Hill Country are at risk for severe flooding over the next 30 years. When it comes to wildfires, the risk is significant as well. According to First Street Foundation, 67% of properties in the Hill Country are at risk of being affected by wildfires over the next 30 years. The increasing frequency and intensity of these fires are due to the hotter and drier conditions, making it essential to consider these factors when buying a home in our region. So what does all of this mean to you? If you're a buyer, this may be one of the best time in recent years to buy a home in the Texas Hill Country. With more inventory, with houses staying on the market longer, with prices stabilizing, you really do have a lot going for you. And then for all you sellers out there being patient, but also realistic with your pricing can also lead to successful sales. And one of the last things I want to leave with you, the Texas Hill Country is a great place for future investments. With its scenic beauty, outdoor activities, and proximity to major cities, it's a desirable location for many people. So whether you're looking to buy a home for yourself or as an investment property, such as a short-term rental, the long-term prospects remain positive. One of the best pieces of advice I can give you is staying informed with the local real estate market. So whether you're looking to buy in three days or three years, I would love to be a realtor of choice. All my contact information is above, but also down in the description. And make sure you watch this next video. I think you're really gonna like it. We'll see you in the next video.